the old horse trailer is inside the garage because we were having a little problem with it. Actually the problem was something the horse was telling us about. She didn't want to go on. She's gone on this trailer for, well we've had it for six years, we've had the horse for seven. She's been in this trailer many times uh, to Kempville and back twice. Kempville is clear over near Ottawa. Six hour drive. Never had any problems with her in it before. Uh, you know, obviously when we first started when she was young, it took a little used, uh, getting used to for her. Uh, but, you know, she has done a lot of trailing and it was just never a problem. Walk right on. And then all of a sudden, this fall, uh, she started not wanting to go on. Uh, late fall, uh, Rachel was home in uh, October, Thanksgiving time. And uh, then again, and when she got home in December, and no, nope, she did not want to get on. And we couldn't figure out what the deal was. So we have been working for a couple of months trying to figure out what the problem was. Uh, and she just, and finally we were in school buses, that's what we do. Finally we were in the, uh, uh, in, uh, in the barnyard working on her getting up and down and she'd go on as long as we had food in front of her. Always a good motivational tool. And uh, she wouldn't, she wouldn't stay in. And in fact, she would, she would shift her weight, and boom, she'd be back out of the trailer. And here's one of the reasons why. Look at the ends of those. I'm trying to try to get this close. You can see there's a lot of rot there, and the boards were really spongy. And I just think that she was just trying to tell us, I don't feel safe in this trailer. Uh, look at this piece. This piece was uh, on, the, uh, on the road, on the left hand side of the trailer as you're looking from back to front. And you can see there's just a whole lot of punky wood there. And I think she didn't like it because she's a big girl. She's a full-blooded Percheron. She's not one of those big square blocky things. She's, uh, she's probably 1,700 pounds. She's not, you know, some of them, I've seen them go 28, 2,900 pounds. She's not one of those. But she's not some dainty little Arabian either. She's, she's got some decent size to her. She, she wears a size 6 shoe, so she's, uh, she's got some size to her. So what I did was I pulled the wood out. Let me, oh this is my new toy. I, uh, even with all the lights on in here, it's pretty dark in there, so I went down to Canadian Tire, that great Canadian business, and uh, they had these on sale for half price. So I got the stand and the two 250 watt lights and the whole thing for $22.98. Anyways, I went ahead and pulled out all the wood and uh, you, you can even see here that there's just a little there that that bottom inch or two on the plywood is not great. Now this trailer, good trailer, pulls nice. It's a large size trailer. It's a full seven foot six to the top. It's an extra wide trailer. It is uh, six foot, uh, excuse me, uh, it's almost six foot wide, uh, straight across. It, it is, it's considered a six foot. It's probably just, I was doing an inside measurement and not an outside measurement, but it's a six foot trailer, so it's not one of those narrow ones. She can stand 
in one side. I've had two draft horses on this, her and her and her mum standing side by side, and uh, they can stand in there no problem. And uh, so it's nice. It's got the wide stalls, got the real nice height to it, so they have plenty of room in there. But uh, there was another problem we figured out once we got looking a little closer. So I pulled out the wood and obviously there was quite a bit of rotten stuff and I got cleaning up and sweeping, sweeping up and then you know as I kind of moved in and out I would step on these step on these dividers. Now I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I'll set this down where you can get a better look at it. Despite popular belief, I do not weigh 1,700 pounds. And you can see the movement in those supports. Now the trailer was made in about uh, 83 I think. It's an old trailer but it's not seen a lot of use. Here's the the plate to it. I don't know if you can see that. May of 1980. That's when it was made. I think it says 1980, yes. Or is that 89? Anyways, either way, it is not a new trailer. And it's, uh, it's been a great trailer. But hopefully you could see that <laughs> those cross members, it's not necessarily made for, it's probably made more for warm bloods where you have 1,200, 1,300 pound horses, not 17, 18, 2,000 pound horses. And that's a lot of extra weight. So, I mean, they're not bad. There's no broken welds. There's no, nothing wrong with it. They're just not enough. And when the boards were good and solid, We've had it for six years. The person I bought it from, they said they had replaced it a number of years before, but the floor should be solid, which it was then when we bought it. And uh, so we, uh, when the when the boards started getting punky, well then the the cross members were were required to hold more and more weight, and. Um, they just started moving. So, it's just, uh, it's just a, uh, a, ma uh, a fact of life that those cross members aren't enough to hold that floor right. So, we've got us some some heavy duty angle, some thick walled angle, all bought, and we are going to reinforce those, those cross members. And then, here's my lumber, we got a whole bunch of 2x10s, and you can see back there one little 2x6, I measured it out, so hopefully she all works. And we're gonna we're gonna just go ahead and do her up. Anyways, I'll end this video now, and uh, as things get going, then we will show a little more. Thanks for watching. Bye.